Hello friends, welcome to the Cloudwick YouTube channel. My name is Manoj and today we will learn how to add multiple members in the distribution list in Microsoft Office 365. So first we need to go to the office.com and we need to enter into the admin panel. So basically there are two ways. One is through the admin center and another is through the Windows PowerShell. So first we need to create a distribution list. We will go to the teams and group and then active teams and group. Here you can see distribution list and we need to add new distribution list here. So we will click on add distribution list. We will type a name and here click on the next button. Here we need to assign owners. You can assign a single owner or you can assign multiple owners. Owner will be required to manage the distribution list. Here we will select the owner and click on the add button. Now we can go to the next section. Here you can add members. You can select multiple members from here and click on the add button. And one more thing if these are external members so first you need to add these members to office 365 contacts so we have already created a separate video for this so you can check that video i will share the link in the description for how to add contacts to microsoft office 365 in bulk so once we have added members we can go to the next section here we need to provide the group email address and here you can select your domain so the main thing is if you want external members to send emails to this distribution group so you can select allow people outside so anyone will be able to send email to this distribution group so once we have done this we can go to the next section and here you can review your settings and click on the create group now you can see the group has been created so we can close this and you can see you can see the group is here also you can check the members in it so this is the first option also you can use windows powershell to add these members so we will create another distribution list we will assign owner from here so here we are going to skip adding members from here for this we will use powershell we we'll provide a group email address and next and create group okay we have now created the group now we will open windows powershell here we will connect to the exchange online here login with your admin account So now we are connected to the exchange online. Oh, if you need to add a single member then you can use this command. Or if you add multiple members then we need to create a text file. The text file will contain all your email addresses that you want to add to the distribution list. So this is the command that we need to run so we will copy this command and paste here okay so here we need to provide the group email id that is here and here we need to provide the txt file location so I have already created a txt file. 
so it contains all the member details so we will copy the file path paste here also we need to put the file name so once you have provided the group email id and the csv file location you can copy this command and paste here now you can see the members are adding to the distribution list and you can see the details here now we can check if these members are added to our distribution list or not so we will refresh this page and you can see six members have been added so these are two methods you can choose any of the method that you find easier to use thank you guys for watching the complete video i hope this video has provided you valuable information on adding multiple distribution list members if you have any queries regarding this you can ask us in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe our channel also follow us on other social media platform social media links are in the description